Welcome to the Health Fix Podcast, where health junkies get their weekly fix of tips, tools, and techniques to have limitless energy, sharp minds, and fit physiques for life. Hey, health junkies. On this episode of the Health Fix Podcast, I'm interviewing Steph Moyle and Jake Melman. They're cousins and co-founders of the functional mushroom company, Troop. And boy, we had a great conversation where we talked all about the benefits that they've seen with their clients and themselves of these different functional mushrooms. Now, this one's a fun one. We get into some details, but we also talk about how they are manufacturing and processing these mushrooms all in the United States. How cool is that? All right, let's introduce you to Jake and Steph. Hey, health junkies. I have Steph and Jake on. We're going to be talking about their company, Troop Functional Mushrooms, Daily Mushroom Goodness. And we've been talking a lot about mushrooms on the podcast lately. So I think this is going to be fun because I'll just keep introducing you guys to the world of mushrooms one day at a time. So Steph and Jake, welcome to the Health Fix podcast. Thank you. Thanks so much for having us. Now, before we hit record, I was kind of trying to figure out the dynamic here in terms of the family company of mushrooms and you guys are cousins. So did you guys as kids always like scheme up things and come up with how you're Mm going to come up with with an empire at some point in the future? Or did this just kind of happen organically over the years? Um, Yeah, this honestly happened totally organically. Um, Steph and I actually, we had actually schemed up a number of things, but it was always kind of like just for fun and never really like taken very seriously. Um, And the story is what happened to COVID started March 14th, 2020. And on that day I was actually skiing and I got into a really horrible ski accident. I was actually, um, in entrepreneurship and I owned a different company at that time that I was working on building and and I shattered my leg. So, uh, and then also simultaneously the COVID pandemic was happening. So because of the pandemic, my business was crumbling. My leg was broken. I was just in kind of shambles and I had to move home with my parents and simultaneously Stephanie was in hospitality um, and all the hotels shut down. So she uh, also lost her job in that time as well. So she agreed to come and move in with my parents and help take care of me. So it was kind of like, she's helping take care of me. We're also just hanging out um, because, you know, it's COVID time. So there's nothing much to do. So we're watching a lot of Netflix and I'm in the process of healing. And um, in that time, Stephanie reads the book, How to Change Your Mind by Michael Pollan. And one day just comes to me and asks, hey, do you want to grow some mushrooms with me? And I was like, sure. You know, like it was just another COVID activity. It was never meant to turn into a business. It was never meant to become our lives by any means. And I I didn't even know much about mushrooms. I just was like, all right, let's give it a shot. So we started growing mushrooms in the closet, like any uh, mushroom entrepreneur <laughs> would. And uh, um, yeah, so that was really fun. And then we kind of started to like really fall in love with mushrooms and like under learn more about them, understand their benefits more. And once we found out, for me, it was upon seeing the movie Fantastic Fungi, uh, which is an incredible film if you haven't seen it. Um, it was upon seeing that, that I've learned that mushrooms are like this ancient remedy for so many health benefits that are so useful for people today. And yet it seemed like nobody was talking about this. It was just like not on the map at all. And these medicines have been used for thousands and thousands of years in cultures all around the world to prevent illnesses and to boost human capacity to like boost focus, reduce anxiety, boost immune system. So many different things that these mushrooms could do that we just felt like no one was talking about. And then we really wanted to, uh, we really wanted to share this with our community. And once we went around, we went, we checked all the products on the market of how to share this. And everything was super like ceremonial and kind of like hippie. And it was like, you have to eat this bag of dirt if you want the benefits. And we're like, that just does not 
resonate with us at all. You know, we didn't come from a health and wellness background. We weren't like gurus living in the forest and be like, we want to share this with our community. It was like, we were just regular people who were just living our lives, working, trying to make it. And we wanted to, we wanted to present these mushrooms to our community in a way that people would take. So uh, we decided to go with the gummy and we were the first mushroom gummy and um, the gummy really like exemplified what we were trying to do with mushrooms, which was we wanted to demystify them and make them approachable for everyone because we saw there was a lot of stigmas, a lot of fears around mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to make it as easy as possible for someone to try mushrooms so that we can help spread awareness of these incredible, powerful medicines. I mean, incredible thought process, right? Because you're 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 looking at the child in every one of us with gummies, right? <laughs> a lot of my patients yeah. are like, I don't take my regular vitamins, but the gummies. Now those yeah, yeah. My, my gummies all day long, you know. And so you have to smile and go, you know, yeah, we're all kids inside, so of course we love these things. And and definitely the stigma is is something like you had mentioned. You started growing, you know, your mushrooms in in the closet. A lot of people do think that, you know, even the, cause maybe they did this in college with some of the tripping kind of mushrooms. Right. Mm. But a lot of people will think, you know, oh, mushrooms, no, no thanks. And, and a lot of my patients to this day, I always have to be like, not the tripping kind, not the tripping. Yeah. Kind. yeah. We've, uh, exactly. we used to, used to do a bunch of demos in grocery stores and I would be at Erewhon, which is a really healthy kind of like a whole foods here in LA. And people would ask me, you know, are these, are these magic mushrooms? And I'm at the grocery store. I'm like, no, there's no way I'd be able to sell you these at the, at the grocery store. And they would still not want to try it. And when I would ask them, you know, it's, this is just some people, of course, most people are are open and willing, but some people I would explain to them what it is and they still don't want to try it. And I would say, do you ever have mushrooms on your pizza or in your pasta? And they would say yes. And I was like, well, this is basically the same concept, except they just have more uh, beneficial properties and they still didn't want to try it just because there's so much fear based stigma still living. Yeah, it's it's crazy. And then the other side of it, and I don't know if you guys have run into this because it's it is something in the natural medicine space. A lot of people are have been passing around these terms, these concepts of that if you eat mushrooms or you take mushrooms, it's gonna feed candida. Have you guys heard that mm. kind of wild thing, the yeast growing in the body? Yeah, I have heard that. Yeah, it's another thing that I try to be like, look, you know, it's probably not your lion's mane that would do that. But yeah. <laughs> if we look at all the bread and crackers and treats, treats yeah. <laughs> now, now we have a different story, but yeah. it is one of those things that I've seen. So Air One, are, are you guys in the Air One stores or? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. I have had the pleasure of going into the Culver City one, mind blowing experience there. Just um, <laughs> it's, it's impressive, right? I, I call it two whole paychecks. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a really cool store though. And I, and I like their mission. Cause I, I know that, and, and this is something that, you know, guys who are listening, I want you guys to think about this. Erwan does not just take any brand. They're not just mm. taking anybody. They, they bring folks in who have met certain standards. They are very particular about things. So that is awesome that you guys are in the Erwan stores. They're, they are fancy. So, yes. Yeah. um, Tell me this. I want to know from both of you, like what, what are your favorite mushrooms? Like which ones are you drawn to? Like what speaks to you? And tell us a little bit about why you like them. Like you were talking about your leg being broken. I'm going, okay, did, did, was there a particular mushroom that helped Jake with you to heal up your leg? Give us a scoop guys. Yeah, I was instantly drawn to lion's mane. So lion's mane, for those who don't know, uh, I always call it the brain mushroom. It has incredible properties for shielding your brain against cognitive diseases and aging. And they're actually studying it studying it as a tre potential treatment for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and other neurological ailments. Um, so I was really drawn to that because dementia runs in my family and I've seen people just completely 
kind of disintegrate. It's really, really sad. I don't know if you've ever seen someone get dementia, but to to live this beautiful, amazing life and then not remember it at the end of the day has always been something where I'm like, that's one of the most cruel things that can happen to someone. So if when you take lion's mane, it helps shield your brain from the effects of aging and p- potentially mitigates these side effects. So I'm like, if I can take something every day that's delicious that I enjoy taking, why wouldn't I do this? So lion's mane for me is like a go, speaks to my heart. Um, and it has other awesome properties too. It helps with your gut health. It helps with nerve damage. We actually work with a doctor on our medical advisory board who uses it a lot for patients who have nerve damage. And yeah, it's just kind of, it it looks like a brain too. And I always look at foods that natural foods, like pecans, for instance, or walnuts. I'm like, walnuts. Yeah. 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 Like I, I, yeah, I've been loving pecans and they look like brains. And I'm like, I bet that this is really good for my brain. <laughs> I need yeah. to look it up. But you would just think like nature kind of has these hints that it sprinkles in. In lion's mane, when you look at it, it really does look like a brain. And it is amazing for your brain. So um, that is definitely my favorite mushroom. Gotcha. Gotcha. And what about you, Jake? What's yours? Uh, my favorite mushroom is reishi. So reishi is known as the elixir of immortality. Uh, It's been used for thousands of years. It's widely documented use. It actually is in some like ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics um, where reishi was actually worth more than gold um, because of its incredible healing benefits and incredible healing powers. So it's incredible for your immune system. Um, people report getting sick less often because the immune system is boosted. Um, it's full of adaptogens. It's full of antioxidants. And um, it has an immediate effect of anti-stress, anti-anxiety. So it reduces the cortisol levels in your body, which helps you deal with stressors. So for me, when I take this, um, I have traditionally suffered from chronic insomnia for many, many years of my life. Um, And it was anxiety related insomnia. So I would be, you know, laying in bed at night and I would be staring up at the ceiling for five, six hours straight with just running thoughts, running, running, running nonstop until like 7am. And then I'd sleep for two hours. And I probably got an average of four or five hours of sleep for like, maybe 10 years, maybe more. And Reishi has significantly helped me. Uh, I take it at night and it doesn't make you tired and like sleepy, like a melatonin would. It just decreases the anxiety that you feel in your body, this physical sensation of the stress anxiety. And it helps me sleep like so much. And it helps a lot of our customers sleep. Um, although it's not designed, like it's not only for sleep, you know, some people take it in the morning, they have a stressful day and it's not going to like make you fall asleep and tired, but it just really helps with that anxiety that for me has blocked sleep. Gotcha. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought about that, but at the same time, you know, I think about mushrooms as being kind of adaptogenic, right? They, they kind of helped us to adapt to life and, and some of the things we need in, in the moment. And Definitely a lot of people are looking for brain support nowadays, you know, so the lion's mane is very popular. And and then with the reishi and the sleep, I'm going, huh, there's a lot of people who are trying to figure out ways to to get the sleep aid without the melatonin hangover or, you know, us older ladies who are are dabbling in the bioidentical hormones and the progesterone and not wanting the hangover from that. So I'm like, okay, okay, Reishi, Reishi. What what have you guys heard from from your customers in terms of like mind blowing things? You're like, I didn't know that could do that, or oh wow, that's impressive. What stories you got from your your customers? The two that for me come to mind. So we have one customer who was never able to donate blood and always wanted to, and she said that after taking the Super Trip regularly, which is our six mushroom blend that has lion's mane, reishi, chaga, maitake, cordyceps, and turkey tail, she said after taking that regular regularly, and that was the only thing that changed she, her iron levels significantly increased, and for the first time in her life, she was able to donate blood. So that was a really cool story. And we have 
a significant amount of other customers who give this to their kids who have been prescribed with ADHD medication and they don't want their kids taking that. So they'll take lion's mane before school and the teachers actually notice a difference and and will tell the parents and say that, well, they'll know if they didn't take it that morning. And we have parents who will give their kids the reishi to help them just naturally calm down when they're bouncing off the walls and everything like that. So those have been two situations that have been really cool that I wouldn't have necessarily expected. Yeah. Yeah. No, me either. I mean, it's definitely impressive with, with the iron and yeah, even, you know, I, I've not heard that before. So huh. that's, yeah, that's- that was, that was a interesting one. She said it was the only thing that changed and her doctors were like blown away. They're like, how'd you do this? <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, iron deficiency is kind of interesting in in the medical world because sometimes we'll give people iron and it doesn't like a you know like a natural version of iron. It doesn't help. We try different things. Nothing seems to work, and we're like, "What do we do?" All right, my yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was me. I was super iron deficient uh, growing up, and I was like, my hair was shedding so much. I would be at school and people would be like, "There's so much hair on your sweatshirt." And I would feel so weak and it was horrible. I felt like I was going to faint every time I just like took a few steps and my body wasn't absorbing the iron. Like sometimes you take iron and your body doesn't absorb it. So I think being in this, um, in the gummy, it actually, it's in this very bioavailable tincture. So I think that helps the body actually absorb it better because I was just taking pills that I was most likely like peeing out. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's entirely possible. It's entirely yeah. possible. And as an adaptogen, I think it actually helps with your body's absorption of, of iron. You know, I think it actually not just providing the iron, but it actually helps your body absorb other sources of iron as well. I I don't doubt it. I mean, it's I've never thought about it before. So now I'm like, oh, all right. Definitely gonna add that one to the repertoire of things to try for folks because why not? Why not? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what kind of stories have you heard, Jake, that that you kind of blew your mind a little bit about the mushrooms? Yeah, one one that comes to mind that felt really great um, was a woman was telling me, one of our customers, that her mom uh, suffers from Alzheimer's and it's like been really bad. And for a long time, you know, it's been very challenging for them and she started giving her mom lion's mane and she said she noticed within like 30 to 60 minutes noticed a significant improvement in her memory and like was sharp sharper and more there and more present and back and she's like it was amazing and her mom felt comfortable taking it because it was in a gummy versus like here take these pills it's just like have some gummies Um, so that was really cool to hear because it was just like such a direct impact of what we were doing on this person's life. Like for, for her to be present with her mom once again, even if it's for a short duration of time to get that clarity again, must be so meaningful and powerful. So it was, yeah, it, it feels good to like hear these stories and know that what we're doing is actually uh, creating a difference for people. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it's, a, it's incredible when you're, when you're seeing change like that and significant factors, like especially when it comes to getting a little, you know, a little bit of your life back. Cause as Steph mentioned before, you know, it, it is, it seems absolutely cruel to have someone have a beautiful life and then not be able to remember things, not be able to interact. I mean, it's, it's hard. It's a hard one. So with, yeah. with true, what's behind the name? I'd like to know that. And then we'll we'll dive into some sourcing and things like that. Cause I know a lot of folks who listen to my podcast want to know like where are you getting the mushrooms far from? I'm guessing we've moved beyond your closet. So yes. <laughs> the sourcing is actually my favorite thing to talk about just because it sure. was the thing we put our most intentionality behind. Um, the name means a group of mushrooms that grows together. That's what a troop is. And um Yeah, it really just speaks to who we are as a company. We really try to promote connection and community with everything that we do. And this company started because we wanted to support our community, our troop. 
So it's been at the ethos of everything that we've done. And we hope to continue that as we continue our company's journey. And, and um, yeah, with the sourcing. So when we first were doing this, we were we're like, if we're going to do this, we're going to be the best mushroom gummy. We're going to have the best quality. So we researched every single mushroom farm in America. It was super important that we sourced everything from America because the quality is so much better and we would have more control over it as well. Uh, there are a lot of mushrooms that come from China and, and not all are bad, but a lot of them are. There's a lot of contaminants in the water and pollutants in the air that get sucked into the mushrooms. Mushrooms are 90% water. So if your water is contaminated, your mushrooms are contaminated. And some of these mushrooms actually get into the USDA certified organic system. Um, they, Yeah, I was listening to that from Paul Stamas. He actually mentioned that. And um, so, yeah, it's very, very crazy how that can happen. So when you are grown in the US and we have all one mushroom farmer, we're all vertically uh, vertically integrated, except for our chaga, which is sustainably cultivated in the most sustainable way in Alaska. So you can only source X amount of chaga per year from these trees and no trees are harmed in the process. So that was really cool to find that solution. And then the rest is um, all grown in Colorado. And we do a triple extraction. So I'm not sure if you've talked about this before on your podcast. No. So um, the bioavailable compounds of mushrooms are locked within the cell walls. So if you basically took up a reishi and you ground it up, your body would have a really hard time digesting that and it wouldn't absorb the bioavailable compounds because it's locked within the cell walls. So there's fat soluble and water soluble compounds. So you need at least a water and an alcohol extraction. So uh, our extractor actually works with a testing facility that we work closely with to continue to test and evolve the methods to get as much of the compounds extracted out as possible. And we use actually, he has a patent pending method that's a triple extraction and is getting um, all the beta glucans, polysaccharides, all that stuff. But the mushrooms actually have, depending on the mushroom, hundreds more compounds that people are even knowing about right now that are super bioavailable to the body and great for immunity and cognitive function, all of that. And, and that can only happen when you're doing an extraction. So I know I just kind of threw a lot at you right now, but um, that is really, it's super, super important to make sure that you're getting a quality fruiting body extracted product. Hey, health junkies, Jake and Steph from Troop Functional Mushrooms have given you a little gift for listening to this podcast. If you enter Health Fix 20, you can get 20% off your order of Troop Functional Mushrooms. All right, let's get back to the podcast. Yeah, it's one of those things, you know, as we mentioned, I think before we hit record is is the concept of a lot of folks will say they have the mycelium and, and we've talked about mycelium versus fruiting body on the podcast before, but in particular, you mentioned a couple of things that, that lit me up in terms of, huh, okay. So with the triple extraction, we're finding compounds in mushrooms that we haven't talked about before. Folks who are listening might be familiar with beta glucans. Maybe they know that that's, you know, one of the things that's really great for the immune system, but are you at liberty yet to say some of the things you're finding, or at least tell us like what kind of properties and, and what kind of benefits are you guys finding with a uh, triple extraction process. Yeah. So the triple extraction allows us to get more out of the mushroom. So that's what's really beneficial about it. And then the compounds are, they vary per mushroom, but for, um, for chaga, for instance, a ton of immune, immunomodulator. So help benefiting your immune system and adaptogens and antioxidants and, um, just a whirlwind of properties that reinforce the effectiveness of chaga. And that is the same thing thing for the other mushrooms that caters to each mushroom and the number of compounds we're extracting does vary per mushroom. Okay. Okay. And so then once you get the, through the triple extraction process, then I'm guessing you're taking and sound like you said, like a tincture format. Mm -hmm. of, uh, yeah. So we're, we've got a liquid that goes into yeah. a gummy to mm -hmm. make the different gummies. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think a lot of people might be thinking, and I'm kind of a geek, so I'm like, okay, so we got a liquid, it got to get it to gummy. Are we homogenizing? Are we using like, what are, what are, how does it work? How do you get a liquid into a gummy and then an output of gummy? 
What's what's the process? What's happening with that? How are you making the gummies? Well, it's a very cool chemistry project, actually. Uh, it involves a lot of chemistry. And, and basically, yeah, you just cook it into your gummy. So in the process of cooking the gummy, you need like a liquid inside the gummy. So you use the extract, the extract tincture as the liquid in the gummy. Uh, but of course, the extract has a lot of flavor because it's really concentrated mushroom extract. So you need to offset it with different flavor profiles and um, citric acid and all these different levels. And uh, to not just mask the flavor, but we wanted to also make it delicious as well. So um, we actually spent about a year on formulation alone and just formulating and formulating to get the ultimate product that tasted amazing so that you can take these mushrooms every single day. Like our, our original goal when we started was to make a one for one replacement with the best mushroom supplement out there, um, which we found at the time was a tincture. And we wanted it to be a one for one replacement that if you take your dose of our gummies, which is two gummies a day, you would get the same amount of mushrooms that you would get from the tincture um, and the same amount of mushrooms you would get from a powder but in a delicious gummy so that there was no hesitation to switch over to a gummy because it's like you're getting the same amount of mushrooms in just a much more delicious and easy format. Well, I can attest to that. Anyone who's ever had a tincture, there's not many that taste good. Um, and, and yes, I can imagine mushrooms taste much like earth and dirt. Um, yeah. They yeah. And they can be super bitter. The reishi was a really challenging one to, mask the flavor of and it's actually ended up being uh they're they're honestly the all delicious, delicious. Yeah. yeah it might be my current favorite i don't know they're all so good so the reishi is a mixed berry flavor and the the lion's mane is a peach mango and the super troop six mushroom blend is strawberry passion fruit flavored and they're honestly all extremely delicious. And uh, they're made with all natural fruit, fruit flavors and uh, they're colored with fruits and vegetables. So it's a super healthy gummy, no artificial ingredients or anything like that. Yeah, no I corn syrups, no preservatives, anything. That is, you know, obviously if you guys are in Erwan, you definitely don't have any of those things. But for the folks that <laughs> aren't familiar with what Erwan is, I mean, their standards, like you've been you've been vetted um, and, yeah. and looked at quite a bit. And especially with natural flavors, a lot of people will go, oh man, that means there's gotta be synthetics. And I'm like, well, there are ways to do it um, differently. So was that part of your year long process of finding the right flavor I was mixing yeah. ones and finding it? Yeah. And um, not only that, but so most times when a company is trying to start a gummy, they're going to go to a manufacturer and a manufacturer will have uh, different products that they'll sell to the same company. Mm -hmm. I mean, sorry, the same company that they'll sell to different products. So for instance, if you want an apple cider vinegar gummy, you can go to any of these big manufacturers. They're making millions and millions of these gummies a day and then selling it to different companies to put their branding on it. It's called private label. So you, you when you do that, you're subjected to their ingredients, their sourcing, all of that stuff. So when we were reaching out to all of these gummy companies, we they we asked for sourcing and traceability, especially for the mushrooms, and they couldn't even tell us where they were grown or anything about the mushrooms or the extraction. And that was the same thing with the flavors and the colors and all of that. And we really did not want to be subjected to that. We wanted to have full control, quality control over our product. So we basically chose the path of most resistance. We ordered all of our own ingredients, which is pretty much unheard of to do, especially as a small company. We ordered everything coming from different vendors, handling all of the purchasing and the logistics. And it was honestly ended up being such a nightmare because we had a really difficult journey finding our manufacturing partner. We had, oh, excuse me, we had like six companies we were working with we had bounced from because none of them could make our gummy the way that we wanted it. And so we're shipping all of our ingredients, all of our custom molds, all of our mushrooms. It was a logistical hellhole that we finally <laughs> are out of and now have a great partner. And um, yeah, it was just such a 
such a challenging journey that that almost was the take took down the company honestly it was that challenging you know i'm glad that you share that because i think a lot of people don't realize that in the supplement industry there are main formulators you know encapsulators gummy makers etc there's folks that just private label for a bunch of people and when you've gone to the to the steps to to make something all together yourself i mean that's huge that is really yeah huge. so Thank High you. five to both of you on that. <laughs> yeah, that you. is impressive. Now, now, are you also manufacturing in Colorado too, or just growing the mushrooms in Colorado and, and Alaska for for those? Yeah, okay. yeah. We uh, we make our mushrooms in California, and the they gummies, are shipped. Yeah. yeah, or sorry, the gummies. We make the gummies in California, and they're shipped uh, not so far away. So we also we try to be really mindful of the carbon footprint. I know we were moving things around a lot. <laughs> But, um, you know, it, we really did not want to be doing that. We were really, really mindful of the planet. And we manufacture in California and our uh, fulfillment center is only a few miles away. So that's really great. It's few transport. And we our bottles made out of 100% recycled plastic. So is our caps. Our boxes that we send out products are made out of 100% recycled cardboard. And uh, we really just try to put the planet as well first and uh introducing no virgin plastics is something that we really really wanted to to try to do wow wow you know it's a feat and and i think a lot of people you know give credit to any company who's just trying because i i know just being on the other side of different development things it's a logistical nightmare but also i mean it's it's a commitment and and you guys definitely put that put that together there so I'm looking at the products and and you had mentioned the six blend of mushrooms in the Super Troop blend. Now, with that blend, did you guys come up with the blend yourself or or did you have a you had mentioned, I think Jake mentioned that you guys have a, a scientific advisor, somebody on, on board. Tell us about how you guys came up with we want these six and these these ratios and whatnot. Yeah, we we did come up with that ourselves. Um, and that was after a ton of research. Um, the reason we went with these six is because they are kind of like the powerhouse six right now um, that are the most research backed. So we wanted to really have something that people could feel comfortable that's science backed, uh, knowing that there's actual data to uh, show what we're saying in our claims. Um, so there, you know, there's millions of species of mushroom out there and our goal is to be doing the research and launching new gummies with new mushrooms for new benefits all the time. Um, but those six were the current like range profile of the benefits we wanted to offer to our customers and the most scientifically backed and researched mushrooms that were kind of out there right now. Makes sense. I mean, makes sense. I mean, you guys definitely have like, it, you guys, if you go to their website, they have like this huge fr frequently asked questions that like yeah. lays out all, all of the things. So if you guys are looking for more info in that department, but no, I mean, it, it's mushrooms are fascinating. Right. And, and I can see why you guys are, are super dedicated to checking things out. So you had mentioned at this point, you had kind of stopped there and I want to hear like, what's, what's next for you guys? What are you, what are you kind of thinking about? What kind of things do you want to dive into next with mushrooms? Yeah, I think our ultimate goal is to be the household name of mushroom products. We want to be a trustworthy source and a leader in education. And for the first few years, I mean, we actually just it's our two year anniversary this month, which is really exciting. Uh, for the next foreseeable future, I think we're, we're going to stick to gummies, but there's so much we can do here. We want to, first of all, have a dedicated mushroom product for each of our six mushrooms that's in the blend. And we also want to get into blends too, using other herbs and adaptogens and creating more natural blends. And we have three that we want to release this year and very excited about that. So stay tuned. Um, we're, we're just now kind of percolating on it. Um, but yeah, it's very exciting to bring a new product to life. 
And I, I, I think we're going to be staying with gummies for a little. I don't know if Jake has any um, thoughts that he wants to to share. <laughs> no, I love, I love gummies. <laughs> Definitely staying with gummies and yeah, launching new products. Um, also the future, I want to just note like, um, while we don't sell like any psychedelics right now, we are still very much interested in them and have seen their incredible benefits for the mind and healing things like PTSD and anxiety and depression. Um, all of these things can be extremely helped and mitigated with the help of psychedelic therapy and mushrooms. So it's something that we really want to be on the cutting edge of and um, be educating our customer base on. And um, as the legalization landscape changes, we definitely want to be present uh, for that and helping people access mushrooms of all kind. You know, we think half half of the mushroom scale is under lockdown right now and in jail. And, um, you know, all mushrooms should be legal for sure because they all have benefits and it's something that we're we're really passionate about and want to be a part of. Sure, sure. No, I mean, I think it makes sense. There's a lot of folks out there who are in my space, let's say functional medicine docs, naturopathic doctors who are really helping folks source and, and get products, but to, to do some journeys, to do some breakthroughs, you know, types of things. But, but the bottom line is, is there isn't like that you know, there's that, oh, yo, I know Joel around the corner, you know, who is yeah. probably growing his, his mushrooms, yeah. in, you know, the closet with, with blue led lights and, and fun music, mm -hmm. you know, but the bottom line is, is finding a, a household name, like you, you were saying stuff that, you know, really you're like, okay, I want to take my mushrooms from my, my health benefits on the non-tripping level to the level that now I can go on a journey, I can open my mind, I can, I can move through some barriers, whatever it may be. And I think it's a for us docs who are open to helping folks, you know, move through things, move into the next level of their life, whatever they may be, may be you know, having a company that understands the the sourcing, understands how important it is to not be just randomly grabbing things from, you know, random Chinese sources. That's probably like the best way I can say, yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. Say, you know, um, yeah. but, but really understanding where, where your mushrooms, mushrooms are coming from, because, you know, I know you guys said you, you don't want to be the, you know, there, there was a lot of hippie kind of looking companies out there and, and I, I get it. I'm a naturopath, like, come on, you know, we, we <laughs> crunch granola hard, but here's the thing, <laughs> you know, I, I also am like, I get it because for most of, most of society, you know, we don't want to be looking at a product for like how much, you know, like, did someone think about all the things or did they just throw this together um, mm. to, to have a quality product? Or was this something whipped up in someone's kitchen, you know? Mm. And so having that basis of a background for the mushrooms is really important. And you've guys, you know, and how things are being grown too. I, I think it's, it's important. And the fact that you guys have everything in the U S and you can trace it all back to that for, for folks, that's a huge talking point, especially in my practice to be able to, to be like, well, this is the company I would go with because, you know, they're doing this, this, and this. And I know that they're not getting things, you know, on the black market or something of that nature. So I would love to hear from both of you in terms of if someone's just coming to mushrooms and they're like, okay, I've heard you guys talk about, you know, the benefits. I'm not really sure where I would start. If they came to Trooper, say they walked into Erewhon and they're like, I really want to just try mushrooms and see what they can do for me in terms of just general health. Let's go with general health. What would you guys say to them in terms of what to choose, what to look for, how to test out the Troop products? Yeah, Definitely. that's a that's a great question. I would say uh, kind of twofold. If they don't want anything specific, I would say start with the super troop because that's what it's designed for. It's for the person who just wants a little bit of everything. And it has six mushrooms in it, which are all amazing for your immune system. And when I, I take it every day and I noticed, you know, for for years I wasn't getting sick. And I was avoiding common colds when everyone else had it around me and my immune system was just firing. So I would say uh, start with the super true. But if they are looking for something more specific, like 
if they're very stressed, I think all of us carry more stress than we give ourselves credit for. Reishi is a really good one to incorporate into your daily routine. Okay. Jake, what about you? Yeah. And I would say, um, if you go on our website, trytroop.com, T-R-Y-T-R-O-O-P.com, uh, we have a super pack, which is like the starter kit. It comes with all three products. It's discounted. Um, and so we actually designed the three products to be all three taken daily. So lion's mane in the morning, super troop in the middle of the day for a little energy boost, and then reishi at night. And that was kind of how we uh, designed these three products to be taken. Um, and that's how Stephanie and I take them every single day, all three. And a lot of our customers have moved up to that level of taking all three and getting their full dose of mushrooms every day. So, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I would say, uh, give that a try. And we actually even have a money back guarantee. So if it doesn't work for you, there's literally no risk whatsoever. Um, but there is a, that chance that it could work for you really well and it could make a drastic impact on your life. I have no doubt. I like I like the way of thinking of it too. Like, yes, if you want to just try some one thing and, and dip your toes in the blend. And then if you're like, I want to go all in and see the adaptogenic effect of what mushrooms can do throughout the day. Mm -hmm. I like that concept a lot. And and one of the things I think about, you know, a lot of people will will go to me and go, Doc, well, I want to kind of do one thing it's for my general health as a whole. I don't want to be taking things all over the place. I like that there's like this, this plan kind of covers all the things and, and definitely in terms of what complaints I get from, from a lot of folks, you know, the brain, the sleep, you know, all of modern society's complaints yeah. we've all covered there. That's awesome. That's awesome. So before we close up, I would love to hear from, from either of you or both of you, whoever wants to chime in on it is, you know, we've talked about your history working together. We've talked about all that. I would love to hear like in the journey of, of creating Troop, what's been the most fun for you along the way? Looks like Jake is thinking. So I, I have one. Um, for me, bringing the product to life is so fun. It's It honestly lights me up. It's to do all of the research, know that you're doing, bringing out the best products possible and to actually bring something to life is such a cool thing. So uh, for me, I think, and it was also my first time doing that. So maybe that's why, but it, that was honestly very, very fun for me was to to launch it. And I'd say for me, we did, um, like Stephanie was saying, the, the word troop means a group of mushrooms. So we really focus on community. Um, and we've done a lot of community events and bringing people together through health and wellness and through mushrooms. And we've gone like did a community mushroom foraging. And uh, I just love being with the community and I love meeting new people and meeting people who are interested in health and wellness and mushrooms and uh, these just these mycophiles that are just like so into it and love it. And, uh, it's, it's awesome for me. And it, it's really cool. Cause I feel like a lot of, uh, mushroom people are am amateur scientists and that's kind of how I see myself as well. Um, and I just feel like it's, it's so much fun engaging with the community like that. You know, you did mention that, and I would love to hear about that because I think as we round out things, it's good for folks to see your connection to the community, giving back to the community, you know, being part of the community. Michael Files, I didn't even know that that word existed. That's kind of fun. <laughs> so so tell us, how can folks connect with, with you guys? How can they be part of the community? How can they be fellow, like calling all fellow Michael Files there? Um, how can they join in with you guys? Where can they find you in terms of online? Where can they get Troop? And, and I'll let you guys take it from here as to all the details. Yeah. So um, the website would be the best place to learn about us and our products. And again, that's trytroop.com, T-R-Y-T-R-O-O-P.com. Uh, and then we're also on Instagram and TikTok um, and YouTube, all at trytroop, T-R-Y-T-R-O-O-P. Uh, Instagram is probably our most robust where we're posting lots of mushroom-related content, 
Um, and you can reach out to us there if you want to join our community. Um, we'll add you to a, like a private friends list if you're a, a my, fellow mycophile, um, just to get some more behind the scenes things. Um, and yeah, we would love to hear from you if you're interested in this. We love chatting with people about this. And, you know, if you message us on our Instagram or on through our website, it usually makes it to Steph or I. So um, we'd love to chat with you. Awesome. Yeah. And we also, um, we created a discount code for anyone of your listeners who'd like to try the products themselves for 20% off. They can use health fix 20. Awesome. Awesome. Guys, we'll put that in our podcast notes at drjkrausnd.com along with other highlights from this podcast. Man, Steph, Jake, you guys are doing some great stuff. I, I want to be part of the community and hang out. And I'm wondering like, okay, so you've got your LA connection there. So I'm guessing LA stuff, maybe some Colorado stuff since you're kind of connected in there. Any Alaska stuff? No Alaska stuff as of yet. <laughs> We definitely want to continue to, you know, spread the mycelial network across the country. That's something that we'll probably be focusing on more in the near future, uh, creating hubs and more events and things like that. Um, but for now, we are in L.A. So whenever you come to L.A., let's go foraging or something cool like that. Sounds like a plan. Love it. Love it. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. Guys, head over to try troop T R Y T R O O P dot com. Check them out or head to my podcast notes at drjcrossnd.com and we'll give you all the details there. Thanks again, guys, for coming on and sharing all of I mean such a fun podcast. Thanks again. Of thank course. you for having thank us. You. This was Hey fellow health junkie. Thanks for listening to the Health Fix Podcast. If you enjoyed tuning in, Please help support me to get the word out about the podcast. Subscribe, rate, and review, and just get that word out. Thanks again for listening.